Should you sell your house as is or do repairs before putting it on the market? That's what we're talking about today. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Andy Baker with Next Chapter Real Estate here in beautiful Silicon Valley. I put out a video each week with what I hope is useful information. If you like it, can you do me a huge favor? Give me a thumbs up below. Also, there's the red box that says subscribe, hit that. It's a huge difference for me. I really appreciate it. And if you have a topic that you need answers on, comment below, tell me what you need, and I'll do a video for you. So back to today's topic. Should you sell the house just as is, or should you do some repairs beforehand? Well, it's a tricky question because you can kind of do both, and I recommend doing both, which means I recommend definitely doing some repairs, and then you can sell it as is. When you sell a house as is, that means that the buyer can't, like during escrow, once you go into contract, they, they can't come back and say, well, we'd like $10,000 credit or we'd like you to fix that issue or something and try and negotiate. We say up front, it's as is, so whatever repairs you've done beforehand, that's all you're going to do. But I like to use the analogy of when you go to sell a car. Most people have sold, bought and sold lots of cars in their day. Houses, maybe not so much. So when you go to sell a car, you don't just think one day, okay, I'm gonna, it's time to sell the car. I'll go home, you know, maybe run it through a car wash, take some pictures and sell it. Usually you think, well, gosh, the brakes haven't been so great. Uh, maybe a tail light's out, um, you know, whatever. Some mechanical issue that you know it's been making a weird noise. Typically, if you wanna get the highest value for that car, you're gonna make some of those repairs. You're gonna take it to your car guy, get a few things fixed, make sure it's detailed, clean, it looks great, and then put it on the market to get the highest value. If you're ready to just get rid of that car, you're not gonna do anything, and you're gonna get a lower price because you didn't fix it up. And that's a choice you can make. But that's the same thing with your house. So what I recommend, the first thing we do is get a home and pest inspection. Get those inspections up front. They'll tell you everything that's wrong. Obviously you might know certain things are wrong with your house and if you want to repair those prior, great. If not, it'll show up on the report. Then we can go through the report and say, hey, this is easy to do, this is easy to do. You know, maybe some of the bigger items, that's something we should discuss, whether you have the money to do those repairs or not. Uh, but a lot of little things make a huge difference. And then when we go to present the disclosure package, which has all your disclosures that you fill out and the home inspections and any other, you know, chimney inspection, whatever inspections you've done, if we've gone through and you had some items fixed, we can write repaired, repaired, repaired. We can even have the inspection companies come back out and give us a clean report. Sometimes I think it's good when buyers can see what's been repaired. They see that you put in some effort to put the best product on the market. Buyers want to come into a house and feel like, oh my gosh, you know, I might need to do some painting down the road or I might want to change this, but we can just move in and unpack and go back to our regular scheduled lives on Monday. Probably work. And if they walk in the house and they see, oh my gosh, there's a million things. They look at the inspection like, I don't know, it seems like there's a lot of deferred maintenance. Even if they write an offer on that house, they're gonna write lower than what you like. If you wanna get the top dollar, you have to put out the best product. Most houses in Silicon Valley do need to be tented for termites. It's really common. A lot of times we don't, I don't have sellers do that prior. We can have that as a negotiation that, hey, we'll do that, you know, right before the close of escrow. You plan to move out a few days prior and you get it done. Uh, but th that can be discussed. Every situation is different, so it's not a one size fits all that you do all the repairs or not all the repairs. So my advice, my recommendation, if you work with me, I typically say, let's get the inspections done. Let's chip away at a few of those items so that you're putting out the best product. But again, every situation is different. Sometimes when it's an inherited property and there's a lot of deferred maintenance and a lot of things going on, we either do it all, which can cost upwards of $100,000, or we don't do anything. But you know you're gonna get a, the offer price based on what you do and what you don't do.
I specialize in selling homes that are in probate or in trusts. Typically, I work with a lot of inherited properties or owners need to move into assisted living. Uh, we can handle the gamut. I can help with the senior move management, estate sales, property cleanup, blah, blah, blah. If that is something that you need or someone you know needs, please send them my way. I really can be a great resource. Uh, again, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, let me know what other information you like, and hopefully you'll, you'll come back and watch another video. Until next time, have a great one.